Yo, peoples, Kyushu92 here, and welcome back to yet another iteration of Kyushu Views Anime. Onwards to the next episode of One Piece. So let's get it started! Time for a new chapter. The world that moves on. A new organization. Cross Guild. Flower capital after the banquet. Woo! That looks like Kiku and Kinemon. Yo, and we got the after, we got the aftermath of Ryoku Gyu, both Raizo and Shinobu. And unsurprisingly, Chopper has tended to them already. It's scary to think that there's yet another Devil Fruit user in the world of One Piece that can drain the moisture from your body. First was Crocodile. Now we got Ryoku Gyu. One thing I didn't say while he was musing in the recent episodes is how if Kaido was still there, Ryoku Gyu would not be there. Kaido was a deterrent against the enemies of this nation. Kaido was basically the Metal Gear. Nuclear deterrent. You know, it's nice to see Kinemon happy to be with his wife again after 20 years. Even though this dude is drained of all moisture, he's only thinking about like, I want the women to like me too. Rest up first, Raizo. You ain't no use to a lady if you're bedridden. Berrieti! Oh, the musketeers are there as well. And every other mink, including Wanda. Everybody, all of the big heavy hitters. Now it's dawning on her. Now it's dawning on her. Yeah. Yeah, now Carrot gets it. Carrot is to be the new ruler of the Mokumo Dukedom. Yeah, both Nekomamushi and Inurashi want to stay behind to continue to be the vassals of the Kozuki family. I'm pretty sure this is going to upset a lot of people who wanted Carrot to be another Straw Hat member. Pedro echoing the words that Roger said to him. Everyone has their turn. Yep, Carrot, this is your turn. Sukiyaki gets to finally meet his grandchildren. We may have lost Odin, and we may have lost Toki. But at least we still have a Kozuki family. Don't get, don't get me teary-eyed. Stop, stop. Ah, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Please. <laughs> the only one not to pick up that Sukiyaki was alive the entire time was Kinemon. Yep, Kinemon had no idea while everyone else was all like, yeah, let's not say anything about it. And given how... Okay, so Frankie's finding out about Pluton. Yeah, I was... Dang it, Luffy, I wanted to say it. Luffy, Frankie was the one to burn up the Pluton plans back at Annie's lobby, so... For it to be real... Yo, Shinobu's hot again! Ooh, Tama's about to become a Kunoichi just like Shinobu now. Wow, Luffy's making the same promise to Tama just like Ace did. Yo, Caribou! And who is this person that Caribou needs to notify about this information of, of, information of Pluton being in Wano? Hmm. Don't worry, I'm not alluding to anyone in particular because we in the manga still don't know. A few days later. Okay, Momonosuke's taking this whole Shogun thing quite well. Wait, I'm saying he's taking all this stuff well. Oh, Straw Hat crew. Luffy's gone. Zoro's gone. Nami's gone. Usopp's gone. Sanji's gone. Chopper's gone. Robin, Frankie, Brooke, Jimbei, Yamato as well. Everybody's gone. I really hope Chopper fi uh, figures out a way to cure people with Smile who have been affected by Smiles. I really hope he's able to cure everyone. Momonosuke's all mad and upset that Luffy and the crew have left without saying anything to him? Hmm. Hmm. Tokage Port. Udon. So now all three... Okay, so Luffy, Law, and Kid are all arguing over who's going to leave Wano first. They can't leave at the same time. You know, Law's making fun of him, but he actually has a point. Out of the three of them, he tends to think things through the most. Kid, he kind of thinks things through, and Luffy doesn't. He just doesn't think anything through. He just does things. Oh, they're talking about Buggy. Crocodile. Mihawk. Cross Guild! Ooh! Even Zoro chimes in saying, like, there's no way that Mihawk works for Buggy. Ooh, Cross Guild began to assign bounties to Navy soldiers. The Navy, which was always the hunter, now I have to worry about being hunted by civilians. While we were in this isolated country, 
the world has changed quite a bit. Ooh. Oh, uh, look at Law being honorable. Giving Kid and his crew a copy of the Roponoglyph. Because cheating is no fun at all. Need to find a man with a burn scar. Who's the man with the burn scar? Law's not saying anything. Robin notices. Law knows something. Why would it center on him like this? All right, Yamato made up his mind. About what? Okay, okay, the animation changed for Yamato's hair has changed. Just a little bit, at least from the back. To be continued. Yo. Huh. That's not where I thought this episode was going to end. An as yet untold story from before the Straw Hat's departure. The extermination of Kaido, which started with one bowl of rice, came to an end. And Luffy and Otama eat warm but sad red bean soup together. What will be their last words to each other? On the next episode of One Piece, time to depart the land of Wano and the Straw Hats. I'm going to become the king of the pirates. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to see the end of the Wano arc. Wow. Okay. So, an another, another, uh, I want to say, um, another setup episode, if you will. Not as big as the last one with all the brand new news that we got, but this one is hastening us to the end of Wano. Remember when we started this entire arc for Wano and there was multiple acts like Act 1, Act 2, and then finally Act 3? Um, it's been a long time. It's been a real long time since we started watching this art. Like, how long ago did we start Wano? How long was it? Okay, looking at this list on Crunchyroll, the first episode of Wano was back in 2019. We have been here for some years. <laughs> it was episode uh, 892. That's how long it's been since we've been in Wano. And now we're finally approaching the end of the Wano arc in 2023. Can you imagine? Wow, we've been here for so long. And now we're on the precipice of this episode being uh, of this arc being over. We're almost there. But it's just amazing how amazing this entire arc has been. Now, I've said this before, and I brought it up in some old reaction videos I did earlier on for Wano, where I said, is the art style and the animation going to remain the same since we are not in Wano anymore? Because I know for certain instances, the, uh, the animation had, it, had like a, I don't know how to describe it, sort of like, an, uh, like a uh, paintbrush feel to certain edges and stuff. Is that going to change when we leave Wano and go back to like a more, more normal looking animation style or what? I don't know. But the fact that we're right here at the precipice of the end of the Wano arc for the anime, I'm like, I gotta say, they really cooked for this whole arc. So many fantastic episodes. A lot of them that were movie quality. I know I'm saying all of this and we still got another episode of the Wano arc to go, but I'm just amazed that we made it this far. That a lot of us are alive to see this moment happen, not just in the manga, but to see it later down the line animated. It's, I'm probably going to say something similar when we get the final episode of the Wano arc, but it's just been amazing to see this series reach this point. And now we're here where we're preparing to say goodbye to Wano. Can you guys just contemplate that for a minute? We've been here for years, for a couple of years, watching this. And it's like, wow, we're almost here. And now we got Luffy, Law, and Kid all preparing to leave. Momonosuke and Hiyori reuniting with their grandfather. Um... Apparently, Buggy has a new guild called the Cross Guild that goes and that's putting bounties on Navy soldiers. And it's apparently it's not just pirates who are hunting them, but civilians as well, because apparently it might be open to everybody, it would seem, get, judging from what Kid said. I know, but I'm just saying for all of you anime viewers. But yeah. Episode 1083 The World That Moves On, a new organization, Cross Guild. 
man, this is just setting up for quite possibly one of the... You know what? I'm not going to say anymore. I'm going to let you anime viewers uh, find out on your own, okay? All right, but let me know what you thought of this episode. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, and it doesn't look like the next episode that we're getting. It doesn't seem like a recap episode. It does seem like a genuine episode episode, because otherwise we would have seen Tama and Bartolomeo. But I'm looking forward to the next one, because the next one could very well be the last episode for Wano. I could be wrong. Someone will correct me in the comments below, but it could very well be one of our last episodes of the entire Wano arc. And... The fact that we could possibly be getting the final episode of Wano before we go into next year? That's a very strong possibility. I'm sorry, I'm droning on. Let me know what you guys thought of this episode as a whole. So all I can say to everyone right here, right now is, well, firstly, let me apologize. Because while I was recording this episode, I completely forgot that Daylight Savings ended recently. So this episode, now that I think of it, actually came out at nine o'clock and not 10. I, I gotta get used to that. I gotta get used to that. Episodes drop at nine instead of 10. I gotta, I, uh, apologies for this video being up around the same time I normally do it. But since an hour went back, so too must my reactions. So to everyone here, hope you all enjoyed. Can't wait to see you all in my next video. Like, comment, and subscribe because I am always looking forward to entertaining you. So have a fantastic day. And once again, as always, later, peoples.